telling you about? Dragon. Uh, he's not bad. I mean, if you like the bulky type. Well, look at his music taste. I mean, he likes Jack Johnson, and I like Jack Johnson. <laughs> so does about 90% of the world. God, he's so deep. His favorite book is The Outsiders. <laughs> Did everyone in the history of the universe have to read that book in seventh grade? Yeah, that means he treasures his childhood. That means he loves his mother. Yeah, so did Oedipus. Now, <laughs> that was his favorite book. I'd be a bit more impressed. And maybe a bit concerned. <laughs> yeah, Christian, not everybody has read every book in existence like you. I haven't read every book. War and Peace is still on my list. <laughs> but he is so perfect. So how did you meet Mr. Perfect, anyway? Well, we met during Rush Week. He asked me what my wager was, and one thing led to another, and we ended up in the back of his Ferrari. <laughs> it was magical. <laughs> Sounds like a fairy tale. Yes. But the problem is that he think he lost my number, because he hasn't called me or texted me. Well, it's probably been a busy week for him. I mean, weight training takes up a lot of time. Well, absolutely. And, I mean, he takes six classes a semester, and he's on the dean's list, and Greek wife is so demanding. Wait, 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 wait. Six classes? Did you find this out, or did he casually tell you? Well, he told me, but he has no reason to lie to me, right? I can't think of a single one. <laughs> hey, I see what you're doing. <laughs> what? You think he's just another horny robot, I can assure you. He's a gentleman who simply lost my number. If you say so. Look, I just don't want to see you get hurt. I mean, you came here on a mathematics scholarship, you watched Sherlock on BBC, and <laughs> You're a really nice person. Yeah. You deserve someone who cares about you. Yeah, believe me, Christian, he cares. I mean, you're sweet, but really, you have nothing to worry about. Oh my god! Frisbee House is throwing a party. Yo, did you guys hear about the party? <laughs> Like last week, there were some people paying uh, hopscotch on the blacktop. 
She wrote them up for chalk vandalism. <laughs> You're kidding me. She sounds like such a... such a... Dick? Yeah, that's it. Dick. <laughs> Dick was right on the tip of my tongue. <laughs>
Fridays. Is that he has caught you? Yep. <laughs> My soul sister has not finished speaking, Kesha. <laughs> Tall before the wall. God, we're outside, <laughs> dumbass. 
Which clothes do you smoke? Guys, just trust me on this, okay? <laughs>
still haven't found the frisbee house yet. Yeah, I want to have some fun tonight. Wait, 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 little wizards, little wizards. <laughs> you don't need fun to have a, you know, you don't need a party to have fun, and you don't need a house named after some silly park game to have a party. The real party is here. It's in your hearts, little wizards. <laughs> fun with friends who actually care about each other. It's the best kind of fun. Yep, he's spouting nonsense. Let's get out of here before he breaks out the underwear or something. Well, come on, if you were in the Towers of the Dark Lord, you'll have a real cup of beer to celebrate upon your return. <laughs> Mount Prolympics! <laughs> 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 
wait, wait. How'd you guys meet again? Oh, poor little guy. I mean, I found him with his head stuck in a six-pack. <laughs> wow. You are awesome. <laughs> Callie, you look tired. Why don't I give you a ride home? Thanks, Brad. Christian? Have a good night. Wow. He really is awesome. <laughs> well... <laughs> Ex Machina. <laughs> 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 
Oh, I was on my way back from dropping Cali off. I just saw you guys on the side of the road. What's this party you're talking about anyway? Well, we were going to go to a Frisbee house party. Oh. Frisbee house, huh? Where's that? Ithaca Street. Oh, that's like two minutes from here. I could totally give you guys a ride. <laughs> you mean to tell me that after we've been lured by lotus eaters, <laughs> attacked by a cyclops, uh, tempted by sirens, and dragged into the other world of treachery, attacked by a greedy sea newt from the middle of that you're just going to drive us there? Is that all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You guys hungry? I have uh, toasted subs in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I came to college with this 
thought in my head where I had to have a boyfriend and I had to go to parties because that's how it's done. That's how everything would be okay. I don't know. I mean, I might want it, but maybe I don't need it. You know. Oh. I, I, I got something to tell you. Yeah. Oh. Nickelback's talent. <laughs> you mean we won't exist? 
<laughs> that is the Odyssey challenge. Do you accept? On one condition. If one of us makes it, we all get in. Whatever. No one has succeeded the Odyssey challenge since Ira Allen himself. <laughs> Come on, Lizzie. This is it. Come on. You got it. Good to see you. She is. 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 She is.